India is on the verge of a historical military milestone, poised to become the first nation globally to field ramjet-powered 155mm artillery shells in active service. This indigenous breakthrough, recently validated in the sands of Pokhran, effectively transformed standard howitzer rounds into long-range precision projectiles, extending the reach of Indian artillery by up to 50% without the need for new gun systems. The development of ramjet-powered 155mm shells represent a paradigm shift in tube artillery, bridging the gap between conventional unguided munitions and expensive tactical missiles. This project is the result of a high-level collaboration between the Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, and Army Technology Board with munitions of India Limited slated for large-scale production. Unlike traditional rocket-assisted projectiles that carry both fuel and oxidizers, these shells utilize air-breathing ramjet technology by drawing oxygen from the atmosphere to sustain combustion. The shells can maintain supersonic thrust for a longer duration significantly increasing its kinetic energy and range. The technical mechanics of the ramjet shells are optimized for the extreme environment of a 155mm gun barrel. The shell is launched conventionally, reaching a velocity of approximately Mach 2 upon exiting the muzzle. At this speed, the forward motion naturally compresses incoming air through a specialized intake, which is then mixed with fuel and ignited. This sustained propulsion allows the projectile to maintain a velocity of nearly Mach 3 throughout its flight path. According to developmental data from IIT Madras, the ramjet-assisted shell achieves a specific impulse of over 4,000 ns per kg, nearly doubling the efficiency of standard solid rocket motors used in traditional artillery. In terms of firepower and range, the strategic implications are substantial. Conventional 155mm shells typically have a maximum effective range of 35 to 45 kilometers when fired from advanced systems like the ATAGs. The new ramjet variant increases the reach to a range of 60 to 80 kilometers. This allows Indian artillery units to engage high-value targets such as enemy command and control centers, logistic hubs, and airfields from a distance that was previously only reachable by multi-barrel rocket launchers or short-range ballistic missiles. The application of this technology is particularly critical in the context of India's unique geographical challenges in high-altitude theatres like the Himalayas. The ramjet shells provide an asymmetric advantage, allowing the Indian forces to conduct deep strike operations while remaining shielded by mountainous terrain. The system's plug-and-play design is a key logistical asset. The ramjet module can be retrofitted into existing 155mm shells. This ensure compatibility with the Indian Army's entire modern artillery inventory, including the M777 ultralight howitzers, K9 Vajrati self-propelled guns, and the indigenous Dhanush and ATAGS platform. Operationally, the use of these shells provide a significant counter-battery advantage by outranging the adversary's standard artillery. Indian batteries can neutralize enemy gun positions while staying beyond the reach of retaliatory fire. Furthermore, the integration of India's Navic satellite systems ensures that these extended-range shells maintain high precision, reducing the circular error probable to a few meters even at maximum distances. Following successful flight trials at the Pokhran field firing range in the late 2025, the project is moving towards its final validation phase. Industry projections suggest the initial squadrons could begin receiving these munitions by late 2026 or early 2027. The program not only enhances the Indian Army's lethality but also significantly reduces the cost per kill compared to missile-based alternatives.